Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we are indeed very grateful to you for the preservation of our lives. Thank you for the new year. Thank you because in you we live, we move, we have our being. And thank you for your word that changes life and situations. As we meditate in your words today, let the word change our life for good. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The text is St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 17 to 24. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 17 to 24. Changed by the word. The background of our text today is engaging. The marriage processes between Joseph and Mary were yet to be conducted before she was pregnant with Jesus. Traditionally, Joseph had the right to put her away and, as well, disgrace her. But he did not. First of all, he thought on these things. In the course of that thought, a word of direction came from God through the angel. That word changed the attitude of Joseph towards Mary and even Jesus Christ himself. By the word here, we are referring to the word of God. And what is this word of God that is capable of changing lives, changing things, and changing situations? This word of God is authoritative. That is what the book of Psalms 118 verse 89 tells us. It is finer. This word is finer. Nothing could be added to it and nothing could be taken away from it. It is also God's love letter to man. That is the book that shows the love of God, the interest of God in humanity and the affairs of men. This word of God is a divine message. It is not a word from any man. It is not a word from any woman. It is not a word from any individual, but a word from God. It is divine. It is holy. This word of God is infallible. This word of God has no error. It is not capable of any error. Little wonder, the word of God in Proverbs chapter 30, verses 5 and 6, tells us that this word is pure. It is pure, meaning that it cannot falter, it cannot fail. This word of God is complete. It is a complete word. You cannot take away from it. You cannot add to it. And that is why the Bible tells us in Revelation that if anybody adds to this book of the law, God will add to his punishment. If anybody subtracts from it, his name is going to be subtracted from the book of life. And I pray our names will never be subtracted from the book of life. This word of God is sufficient for all our needs. This word of God is sufficient for all our needs. Whatever our needs may be, they, may they be psychological, may they be financial, may they be sociological, may they be economical, may they be on health, may they be on anything. This word is enough to meet all our needs. And this word of God accomplishes all its promises. There is nothing this word of God says that does not come to pass. The Bible tells us clearly that, behold, this earth will pass away, 
but not a single word of God will pass away unfulfilled. This is to say that it accomplishes whatever it promises. So whatever the word of God has promised us, it will certainly accomplish it. The question we may want to ask ourselves is, what must we do that this world will change our lives and our situation for good? For the word of God to change our lives, for the word of God to change our situations for good, we need to do a few things. One, we need to study this world. We should crave for this world. We should yearn for this world. We should thirst for this world. We should not be satisfied until we study this word of God. Two, we must meditate on this word of God. It is not only good that we study it, we must meditate on it day and night. And that is what the Bible tells us, that we must meditate on this word day and night, that we may be prosperous in our way. Three, we must make this word of God our food. It must be our meat, it must be our drink. We must have time for this word of God. This word of God has benefits to change things and to change our situations. And the benefits cannot in any way be quantified. One, it nourishes our dry soul. It nourishes our dry soul. Two, it strengthens our weary bones. When our bones are weak, this word is sufficient to strengthen our bones. Three, it redirects our wayward gaze. It is capable of bringing us back to the right path. Four, it suits our discouraged heart. When our hearts are discouraged, the word of God is there to suit us. Five, the word of God grants us peace. It grants us peace. The only peace we need in the world is contained in the word of God. Six, this word of God feeds our hungry soul. When our souls are hungry, the word of God can feed us. Seven, it grants deep wisdom for us to be wise, for us to have wisdom. We must have this word of God. Eight, it reassures during pain. When we go through pain, this word of God is capable of reassuring us. Nine, it echoes our glad praises. It echoes our glad praises. Ten, it keeps us from falling into temptation. The word of God is capable of keeping us from falling into any temptation. It assures us of our eternal inheritance. It is in the word of God that we are assured of our everlasting place with God. Twelve, it comforts us during the time of trouble. These and many more are the benefits of this word of God that is capable of changing our lives, that is capable of changing our situations. In this new year, you may be faced with several shocking situations. Some of them may bring shame, some of them may bring glory, depending on our responses. However, the situation comes, the first thing you should do, using the word of God as a guide, is to prayerfully think on the issues and trusting God to send direction before you act rashly. Because the word of God must guide us in whatever we go through during the course of this new year. And when we do that and depend on the directives of the Holy Spirit, certainly things will change for better. And I pray 
This will be the testimony of all of us in Jesus' name. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. As you wait on God this new year, he will send you direction and your life will be glorious after all. Join me in this prayer. Lord, give me the quietness of heart that will make me hear you clearly. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.